In the kitchen with Chef Carol, guys, uh, today for my meal, I'm going to be making chicken livers. Chicken livers, which I'm going to do different today. I'm going to go ahead and soak them in some milk with eggs and season them. I season them with Satsun Goya and some onion powder and garlic powder. I got them sitting for at least five, ten minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and cook them, fry them in some good old olive oil. I have olive oil that I'm going to fry them in. And uh, let's get started here. I have my um, chicken livers, which is marinating in my milk and egg mixture. So let's get started with this here. Okay, that's been sitting here for a good, what, 10 minutes now. So I have my grease already in the pan. So I'm going to go ahead and also I'm going to season my flour. Season it with the Goya, the pepper. I added some pepper, some garlic powder, and uh, onion powder. I'm just going to mix that up real good. So I'm doing my chicken livers different today. I'm going to try to uh, make them be nice and crispy. Fry them up real good so they're nice and crispy. I'm going to add this Goya to the flour here. Goya, I love the taste of that, the sasson with my fried foods. And it also gives it, I mean, I like the orange color in my meats when I fry. I don't know about you guys, but that's what I like. Okay, so here I have my chicken livers that I soaked in milk and egg. Okay. Let that sit. I let that sit there for like 10 minutes before I go ahead and add it to my pan. Okay, I have my grease on medium heat. My olive oil, so I'm just going to go ahead and coat my, my uh, chicken livers in the self-rising flour before I throw it in the pan and let it fry. And then I'm going to go ahead and start my squash. My summer squash. It's my meal for today. I can hear that grease popping. So I'm just going to go ahead and start adding my uh, chicken livers right to the pan. I'm going to just do a few at a time. I'm not going to load the pan down. I'm just going to go ahead and coat that. I mean, let that sit there on the side for a minute. I'm going to add the rest of my chicken livers to the flour mixture. And that way I have my second pan there. To get ready to fry. I'm going to turn this down so my heat should be on medium high that way it's not cooking too fast. Alright, so I'll go ahead and take and do a good flip here. coated my chicken livers with milk and egg. So now I'm just going to go ahead and let that dry while I start my summer squash. Get that in the pan. Okay. Excuse my, my burner. I was cooking just a few minutes ago for uh, 
my sister and uh, kind of rushing. So let me go ahead and start my summer squash before I add it into the pan. So I'm just going to cut it down into about an inch each. Okay, I'm gonna have some onion. I'm gonna put some onion in. My summer squash I'm gonna have with my chicken livers today. It's my meal for today. Okay, go ahead and chop my onions whole slices. need much so I have some parsley as you know and I have some Parmesan and I'm gonna go ahead and season I think I'll use some salt free garlic pepper red peppers I'll add that to the pan too as well okay so I have my pan here on medium-high for my summer squash and I'm going to use some garlic olive oil I'm going to let that heat up in the pan garlic olive oil I'm going to add. and then just let that heat up real good my chicken livers are frying good excuse me that Sauce I just put on the bowl is so let's make sure that it's hot, it's heated there. There we go, it's frying. Don't want it to get too hot because I don't want to rush and cook it. So I just add my onion to the pan. And then I'll just go ahead and place place my squash right on top of there. There we go. Get that in there too. Okay, so now I'll just go ahead and season it with some roasted garlic pepper. I'll add on top. Just a tad bit. Some onion powder. A teaspoon onion powder. Then again, I have some roasted original seasoning mix. It's not just for potatoes, so I'm just going to add a bit of that on. A pinch of that on there. It works my hand. I'll add some pepper. Stick on my chicken livers. Give them a flip. Coming out good. Nice and crunchy. Crispy rather. Tender on the inside, crunchy on the outside. It's up to you. Some people like their chicken livers still bleeding. I used to like mine like that, but I changed that uh, thought because of all the things going on out here with the viruses and things, so no, I'm going to cook my meats fully through. So I'm going to add some parsley. I mean some Parmesan. You know that parsley's coming. I'm going to add some Parmesan. You know my parsley. Okay. And let that cook down. So they're nice and tender and I'll be back okay I'm back and here's my summer squash already cooked down in onion I just kept on flipping them till they got nice and tender as you can see they're done I got my chicken livers out on the plate already 
And I'll go ahead and set my plate up here. I have my summer squash with fried crispy chicken livers. There's my chicken livers all done. Nice and coated here. So I'm just going to add my summer squash and my onions to the pan, to the plate. In the kitchen with Chef Curl, guys. Can't go wrong. I have my squash with my onions and my chicken livers. And I'm just going to coat them some more with some more Parmesan. There we go. Go ahead and clean my plate up. It's my meal for today. It's hot out. And I'm going to sit back. And you know I'm going to have my movies on. I'm going to sit back and relax. And enjoy my meal. No worries, no worries. And voila, there's my plate of chicken livers fried with my milk and egg. And I have my summer squash. And there's my meal for today. In the kitchen with Chef Carol. Comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Uh, in order for me to make more move, more videos, rather, not movies, videos, uh, showing you how I make my meals differently. But here we go. My chicken liver is nice and crispy and crunchy. Mm-hmm. And the kitchen with Chef Carol, guys. Till later.